Inflation Reduction Act is now law. President Biden signed the bill at a ceremony today at the White House. The $750 billion spending package is a scaled back version of his Build Back Better proposal that was uh, designed to fight climate change and to lower prescription drug costs for many seniors across the country. The bill touted as a move to save Americans money, which it should, but not anytime soon. News 5's Natalie Chuck is joining us now to break down how it's going to work. Natalie. Yeah, Diane, well, it sounds like a great idea. The name is optimistic. Reducing inflation is at the forefront of nearly every American's mind right now. But as one expert pointed out to me, people don't suddenly feel their financial burdens lessen because of this. From the people I talk to, there's not much confidence in knowing exactly what the Inflation Reduction Act does. The only thing it has to do with inflation is to make it worse. I don't care what the bill is called. It's not going to reduce inflation. And the fact that they're even touting this as one of the greatest bills in history is a joke. And it's clearly a ploy to get reelected. You don't reduce inflation by going out and spending $750 billion and you also don't reduce inflation by expanding the IRS and raising people's taxes. The government can't just erase inflation. Inflation goes away when you get more goods and services in the economy, but keep the dollar supply around the same. A bill worth roughly $700 billion. <laughs> now law with President Joe Biden calling it one of the most significant laws in our history. But how much will it really save you at the gas pump or the grocery store? I think the name is a bit of a misnomer. Um, I don't think it's going to reduce inflation in any way, shape or form, maybe in three to five years. I think it's smart to get it passed. I think these are initiatives that the left generally has been wanting to push forward. And by packaging it in something that's called the Inflation Reduction Act, um, it makes it more likely to receive bipartisan support. The executive branch has very little power to combat inflation anyway, so there's not much they could do. Even if they, if that was their only goal in the world, there's not much they could really do about it either. That's why we have a Federal Reserve. Um, that's, that's their job. So the next time a new law is signed, Craig encourages everyone to dig a little deeper. Understand people's incentives, right? So incentives of politicians are to get reelected. They may come in with the best of intentions towards helping as many people as they can, but if they're not reelected, they can't do any good. The government thought they could pay your rent by giving you stimulus checks, but all they did was reduce the value of your dollar. You see this trend? Every time the government thinks they can just sign a bill to save everybody, it makes things worse and they end up having to correct their own actions. Biden in particular has been very good at signing a ton of bills, creating problems, and then signing more bills to fix those problems. It's a great way to get the public on your side because both bills can be seen as a plus even though one bill had an issue that they didn't want to address and they address it later on. That only works when your citizens don't understand what's going on and you don't communicate properly what you're doing. And that's another thing Biden is very good at. He will just sign things into action without actually telling you what it does. He just says, hey, it's good, it reduces inflation. Hey, it's good, you get money. He doesn't tell you the negatives and the media just covers for him. So you have no idea what this bill actually does and what negative impacts it will have. And so because of that, the citizens are not informed. They look like Biden's doing a good job. So they vote for him and it's just gonna keep making things worse. But let me know in the comments what you guys think of the Inflation Reduction Act. And leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.